Greetings, the Sanitation Phil fans, Team Movies here. Now, with Dora and the Lost City Goat in there this week, I decided to do my, since the movie is based on the uh, cartoon series, I decided to do my top 10 favorite live action movies based on cartoon series. Now, some of these are really going to be very unpopular. Like, people see this, they're going to be like, why do you like that? Uh, but I really quite enjoy lots of these movies and stuff. I mean, they wouldn't be in my top 10 list if I did not enjoy it. And this is a pretty good movie that are based, that are based on cartoon series that I quite so bad. Like, most of these are more guilty pledges of mine, but I still quite enjoy lots of these, so... With that being said, here's my list. Alright, coming in. Coming in at number 10 is going to... Coming in at number 10 is going to The Smurfs. Now, The Smurfs is, of course, based on the classic cartoon series from that premiered, like, in the 60s. I think the 60s or 70s. One of the two. And it's where, like, uh, the evil wizard Gargamel, you know, ends up uh, chasing... Pretty much ends up chasing the Smurfs out of uh, Smurf Village. And they turn up to uh, New York City. And... They pretty much uh, end up, like, uh, going to a uh, apartment um, with a uh, ad executive named uh, Patrick Winslow, played by Neil Patrick Harris. And they're pretty much there, and, uh, you know, Patrick ends up, like, uh, taking, pretty much uh, getting annoyed by them at times, and then Cyrilar, he, he pretty much uh, grows to really appreciate them. Like, the voice cast they had in this was cool. Like, you got Jonathan Winters, who ended up voicing uh, Papa Smurf, who I believe he voiced the role in the uh, cartoon series. Uh, you had uh, Katy Perry was in this as a Smurfette. Uh, you also had um, uh, George Lopez was in this. Uh, Alan Cumming, um, the late Anton Yelchin, voiced a clumsy Smurf. Uh, you also had really good cast, like Takina Thompson was in this. It, really cool voice cast they put together for this. And it was directed by Roger Gusnell, who I thought did a decent job. I like, oh, not to mention Sophia Vergara was also in this too. I really quite enjoyed how the Smurfs looked in live action forms. And, you know, I really quite enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed it a lot that I should have. And I, I really thought it was a decent film, and I'll say, oh, and not to mention, uh, uh, the Simpsons dude, um, Hank Azara, played the role of Gargamel, and even people who do not like the movies at all can't deny that, that Hank Azara as, as Gargamel was perfect casting. I, I loved, uh, Hank Azara as I wrote. And, of course, I also, I mean, I sort of also enjoyed the sequel shoot, but it was a bit stepped down from the first film. Because I quite enjoy that first one so much, so... Anyway. Coming in at number 9 is going to Yogi Bear. Now, now this... Now, Yogi... Now, Yogi Bear actually featured the voice of Dan Aykroyd as Yogi and uh, Justin Timberlake as Boo Boo. And the dude from The Flash, Tom Cavanaugh, plays the... Uh, Plays like the, um, you know, like the rain, like the, uh, Ranger Smith in this. I also had uh, Anna Ferris was in this. Uh, T.J. Miller was great in this. I really quite enjoyed the Yogi Bear movie. You know, it was, it was a dumb film, but it's still, it was still a pretty uh, good one. I mean, I really like the, I mean, I thought Dan Aykroyd was perfect choice to voice uh, Yogi Bear. Uh, Justin Timberlake was great as uh, Boo Boo. TJ Miller was great. I mean, yeah, Yogi Bear was a really fun film. Like I said, it was pretty stupid at times. There was cringy moments, but I still quite, quite find, found it cute, entertaining, and I'm mean, I'll, I'll be down to see a sequel. I know there's been talks about a sequel, but it never really came to me. But I'll be down to see another Yogi Bear. And believe it or not, this movie turns ten next year. Just for that, you know, right? Alright, coming in at number 8 is going to Casper. 
Now, this is based on the uh, you know, cartoon uh, series of Casper the Friendly Ghost. And Casper is voiced by uh, Malachi uh, Paris. And you got uh, Bill Pullman as like a specialist, uh, as a specialist named uh, James Harvey, who pretty much uh, communicate with Casper and his fellow spirits. And he also has like a, a teenage, a teen daughter played by uh, Christina Ritchie, who pretty much uh, ends up being friends with the uh, ghosts as well. And Casper's friends are really funny in this. This is a childhood favorite. I mean, the Casper movie is great. I quite love this movie. It's really a cute, charming film. You know, it's really entertaining, and yeah, and they also did like a. They also had like a sequel too called Casper Meets Wendy, which was good too. But the first Casper, Christina Ritchie and Bill Pullman and all, was a great one. If you guys never seen the original Casper movie. Go check out. I mean, it got released in 1995, and I think it still holds up today. It's a really good one. All right, coming in at number seven. Number seven might be a might be controversial now because the career of the character is has some fuss been in hot water. But number seven is going to Fat Albert. Now, Fat Albert is based. If you guys don't know, Fat Albert is based on the, uh, on like the Fat Albert series that premiered in the seventies, and, and the characters was of course created by uh, Bill Cosby, which it might be awkward talking about anything Bill Cosby related now because of the stuff that's been going on in the future film lately. And Bill Cosby actually has like he actually has a part in the movie too, which I I really liked his uh, little cameo in this. And spoiler, at like towards the end, uh, you'll see like uh, Bill Cosby with a couple of the uh, with a couple of people towards the end. Those people were actually inspirations of Fat Albert, so I found that pretty good. Like I really quite enjoy Fat Albert, and Fat Albert is played by Ken Thompson, who it is funny because he does a, he's great at playing Bill Cosby on SNL, and it makes sense how, how great he does as Bill Cosby because of course he played a Cosby character. In Fat Albert, and he also had uh, Marcus Houston as Dumb uh, Donna. Kyle Pratt was in this. Uh, Denia uh, Ramirez was great in this. Yeah, Fat Albert. I really love this movie. It's you know it's where like Fat Albert you know uh, finds this uh, young girl uh, played by Kyle Pratt ends up crying one month and she ends up crying on the uh, on a TV remote and. You know, uh, Fat Albert sees the tears show now, so he ends up pretty much jumping out from the TV, and and he actually ends up he ends up having to uh, get back to the TV because if he doesn't, like he's gonna pretty much turn like uh, he's pretty much gonna like turn to a uh, fragment of uh, dust and all that. And Fat Albert is a really great one. I mean, like I said, I did sort of like the Bill Cosby cameo. Uh, there's like a really funny rap moment scene with uh, Fat Albert. I really like that scene. Uh, oh, you also had uh, Marion uh, Granberry. He was great in this. Uh, Aaron Carter. I um, almost said Nick Carter. Different Carter. Aaron Carter was in this. I, I really like Aaron Carter here. Yeah, Fat Albert is. It's a great one. I really quite enjoy this movie. And I'm, I'm still at this point, we never got to see a sequel. But with the whole Bill Cosby stuff, I couldn't. I don't think we'll ever see anything Fat Albert related ever, because the create because the characters are created by Cosby. So yeah, I mean, oh. but I can still quite enjoy the anime film. Like, like you guys never like see the movie version or the anime uh, film, the uh, Fat Albert, and I think it was called Fat Albert and Friends. The Fat Albert and Friends anime series is great. That's some really classic Saturday morning cartoon stuff. And it's a really good one. And the movie version is as good too. And I mean, Keenan Thompson, I just I just love him as a character. And this is probably my favorite Keenan Thompson role too. So, yeah, but uh, Fat Albert is a really good one. Oh, and Marcus Houston is good too, by the way. Alright, 
Coming in at number six is going to Alvin and the Chipmunks. Now, this is, of course, based on the classic cartoon series from the 70s. And Alvin and Chipmunks is great. You know, you got Jason Lee as uh, strong, as strong writer Dave Seville, who pretty much takes in uh, Chipmunk, like Alvin and the Chipmunk gang, and they become major singers and uh, become stardom throughout. Uh, you had David Cross as uh, Ian. Of course, David Cross is best known for Arrested Development. Uh, the voices of Chipmunks were voiced by uh, Justin Long was Alvin, uh, Matthew Gray Gelber, and uh, Jesse McCartney was uh, Theodore and uh, Simon. And yeah, Alvin and Chipmunks, ha it has a great music in it too. Like, those Chipmunks could sing. And Jason Lee, I mean, him as Dave Savelle was perfect casting. And David Cross, I love David Cross here. We also had Jane Lynch. Uh, the Chipmunks all look pretty cool. And yeah, if you guys haven't seen Alvin and the Chipmunks, it's a really good one. And I also quite enjoy the sequel shoot. Like, there was, of course, the Squeakwell, the Shipwreck, and the Road Chip. I mean, they are, they are really cringy. But they are some guilty pleasures of mine. And I really, I sort of quite enjoy them. Alright. Uh, Coming in at number five is going. Number five is going to Transformers. Now, Transformers is, of course, based on a classic cartoon series. And, of course, we, there was Transformers, a movie. Transformers is directed by Michael Bay. You've got the uh, the Autobots and the uh, the Sepulchons, uh, cool effects. Um, you've got Megan Fox in this. I mean, come on, Megan Fox. I mean, her acting's not great, but who just doesn't love Megan Fox? I don't know. I mean, come on. Uh, produced by Steven Spielberg. I mean, this movie, of course, got released in 2007. It was the first summit of very few Transformers movies. And, of course, it got spawned by a couple of sequels. Of course, we had Bumblebee. But the, the best out of all of them is the shoot out Sam Wick. I mean, you got Shia LaBeouf as a Sam Whitwick, uh, Um, I mean, Bumblebee was a cool character. I mean, like, the fight scenes between the Autobots and the Step was great. You had John Turturro, uh, Tyrese Gibson, um, oh, Josh Duhamel. Yeah, Transformers is, it's, it's dumb, it's fun, it's entertaining, and, yeah, it's pretty, it's a pretty fun to ride. Alright, number four, now, I wasn't really sure if I was going to add this or not, because technically, like, despite it still, there's a cartoon of it, this particular movie is still based on a, based on a video game. But since there is a question of it, I decided to add it anyway. My number four favorite is going to be very recent, by the way. Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Now, like I said, I wasn't really sure if I was going to add this. Because, yes, Pokemon is a cartoon series. And, and all, but this is more based on the Pokemon Detective Pikachu game more than the actual animated anime and all. But... I just couldn't keep it off my list. I just love this movie so much. I mean, Detective Pikachu was... A, I just quite love this film. I mean... You know... I, of course, did my review for it. You know, uh, you can find it on my page. I mean, the world of Pokemon all look realistic. I mean, this movie literally makes you feel like you're in the world of Pokemon. And all the Pokemon look cool. Pikachu look great. Mewtwo look good. Uh, the Greninjas look great. Uh, you had Venusaur, uh, Blastoise, Gengar. I mean, some great, awesome Pokemon were featured in this. And, and it's really fun. It's funny. It's entertaining. Uh, Ryan Reynolds does does a great job at voice of Pikachu. We also had uh, Jesse Smith, uh, Bill Nye. Such a great film. And this movie is still in my top ten of the year, by the way. And, yeah. And you guys have, I'm still hoping, I'm still holding out hope we'll see, like, because it's like the big shit makes some good, though. So I'm still holding out hope we'll see maybe an adaptation of the animated stuff. 
Because it would be cool seeing Red, Ash, or any of the gang popping up, so... Yeah. Alright, coming... Coming in at number 3 is going to the Flintstones. Now this is of course based on the classic uh, anime sitcom from the 60s. You've got Sean Goodman as Fred Flintstones, Rick Moranis as uh, Barney Rubbles, uh, Rosie O'Donnell uh, was Betty, Elizabeth Perkins was in this. You had, uh, I mean, Halle Berry. Come on, we did not love Halle Berry in this. You had, you had Comic Blockin in this. Uh, oh, you also had Elizabeth Taylor in this. Such an, I really love the Flintstones. You know, it's a really funny film. You know, John Goodman, I think, I think the casting of John Goodman as Fred, that was perfect casting right there. I really love the casting of Fred. And of course, we do also had a prequel with uh, Beaver Rock Vegas, which is a guilty pleasure. I so sort of love Beaver Rock Vegas. But the film, but the uh, original Flintstones movie, I still really quite enjoy. It's directed by uh, Brian Levent, who also, who I believe also directed uh, Jingle on the Way, if I'm not mistaken. This is actually his best film, in my opinion. And, yeah, it's a really decent one. I mean, it's, it's kind of a, ch um, I remember watching this as a kid, really quite enjoying it. I've seen, like, uh, I've seen it recently as well. Really love the Flintstones, and, although, Rosie O'Donnell as Betty was still miscast, but I, that aside, I still quite enjoy this. I mean, it was pretty cool how uh, they have realistic made, they made the Flintstone world look. And I don't know if we'll ever see another live action again. I know there's talks about an anime series and all that, but uh, I'll be down to see another live action. But uh, hey, we had two good ones, so. All right, coming in at number two is go is another very good side of mine, and that's going to Scooby Doo. I mean, Scooby Doo is it's great. You know, Matthew Lillard, whoever cast Matthew Lillard as Shaggy deserves a medal. I think I thought Matthew Lillard as Shaggy was that was perfect casting right there. You also had uh, Frey Prince Jr. as Freddy, Sarah Michelle Gellar as Daphne, Linda Cardellini as Velma, Frank Welker, of course, voiced uh, Scooby. We had Rowan Atkinson in this. Uh, Scooby looked pretty cool. I mean, I really like the design of Scooby. I really quite enjoyed it. Uh, like, suck up, gang. Wait, uh, Do you have a girlfriend? No. <laughs> <laughs> what the what? Sorry about that, guys. Uh, there's a weirdos tonight, but uh, anyway. Hey, now back to the film. Uh, I'm outside, so there's gonna be weirdos around. So, for my UK fans, this here is New York City. So, yeah. But uh, anyway. Now back to uh, Scooby Doo. Now they also did uh. Months they also did Monsters on Leech, which I, I mean, I probably like Monsters on Leech slightly more than us, but I still really quite enjoy uh, Scooby Doo and and uh, yeah, Scooby Doo is a really nice one. I, I really you know quite enjoy this live action interpretation and yeah, if you guys haven't seen uh, Scooby Doo one or Monsters on Leech, give those a go. They're really good stuff. I mean, I really, I also grew up watching uh, the Scooby-Doo cartoons, and just seeing, like, the Scooby world and, like, Scooby interacting with real-life people was pretty cool, and, come on, who didn't love Sarah Michelle Gellar last time? I mean, come on. Oh, and funny enough, Scooby-Doo was also directed by Roger Gonzalez, so, who also did the Smurfs, so there is a little tip of me there. But, uh, yeah, Scooby-Doo is a great one. All right, now number one. All right, my number one favorite is going. I wasn't really sure if I was even going to add this, but it is based on cartoon material. My number one pick is going to Space Jam. Now, 
Space Jam is, of course, I mean, if you guys don't know, Space Jam, you know, features Michael Jackson, you know, uh, shooting hoops with, uh, with bugs by anything right now. Of course, uh, Space Jam is based on the, uh, of course, is based on Looney Tunes and all that. Looney Tunes is a pop and cartoon series. So, technically, this is based on a cartoon series. And this was, like, the first time Bugs Bunny in the gang ever came to the big screen. And it was pretty cool seeing Micah Jordan, like, interacting with Bugs Bunny in the gang. They had Daffy Duck in this, uh, Tweety Bird. Um, I mean, you had some of the great NBA players, like, uh, you had cameos by Charles Barkley. Larry Bird had a cameo in this. And, yes, Space Jam, I just love. You know, you had music. Uh, you had music by R. Kelly, not to mention. Ooh. I wonder who's going to be doing the soundtrack for the sequel, by the way. Because, obviously, R. Kelly's going to be too busy to do it. So, yeah, that's going to be a topic for another day. But, uh, anyway. Oh, not to mention, I cannot wait for Space Jam to you know, LeBron James is in that. Cannot wait to see LeBron James shooting hoops with uh, Bugs Bunny. But, uh, yeah, if you guys never had a chance to check out Space Jam yet, definitely check it out. I mean, it's a great one. And, I mean, Michael Jordan with Bugs Bunny. One more key actor. You also had Bill Murray in this. Uh, Lola Rabbit. I mean, a female bug, I mean, a female rabbit. I like that one. But, uh, yeah, Space Jam, such a great one. And cannot wait for Space Jam 2, by the way. But that's pretty much it. Let me do the quick run now. Ten, the Smurfs. 9. Yogi Bear 8. Casper 7. Fat Albert 6. Alvin and Chipmunks 5. Transformers 4. Pokemon Detective Pikachu 3. The Flintstones 2. Scooby-Doo 1. Space Jam Now, there's a few others I probably could have added. Uh, let's see. Definitely not uh, Rocky and Bowinger. That was horrible. Uh, the G.I. Joe, Joe movies. There are... Um, Pop oh I probably could have added Popeye with Robert Williams. I love that Popeye movie. Um Inspector Jack Gadget, Josie and Pussycat, uh Jam and the Holograms, uh Dragon Ball Evolution, which I know lots of people are gonna be the opposite on. Uh Speed Racer. Um some interesting one, Master of the Universe, uh definitely not Max Steel. Uh still haven't seen that Willie Woodpecker, by the way. But let me leave it to you guys. Uh, what are some of your favorite live action movies based on cartoon series? And another question is what cartoon series would you love to see get turned into a live action film? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Uh, this here is T Movies, sign off.